Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I'm here with a review of Idol Zoo Park on the Nintendo Switch. Now this was released onto the Nintendo eShop on the 4th of August 2023 from publisher Ocean Media who were kind to send us a copy for this video review so big thank you to them for that. Now this is one of those like idle auto clicker games where you do some sort of management. I've played a few of these like there's a um, a roller coaster theme park one on my phone I've played there was a museum one and I always love zoo games as well I don't know what it is I just love like zoo management and stuff so I thought I'd give this one a go now the aim of the game is to basically build up your parks by gaining money and then upgrading your uh, animal enclosures upgrading your zoo and then slowly but surely expanding into new animals till your park is full then when you hit a certain level you can then open up a new zoo basically in a new area and go from there and you'll just keep doing that and every time you get to a new zoo there's new animals you can have there and stuff like that and you basically start from the bottom again now you'll start off earning very little at a time and every time you click the screen you get um, so much money you also automatically ticks over every minute as well as you can see on the screen in the top corner it tells you how much your park's going to make every minute now the more you upgrade things but this could be the animal enclosures themselves or through clicking on your like main building you can upgrade all sort of things to do with your park from like upgrades to like how many times the buses come every minute that sort of thing and that all brings in even more revenue and you'll start off earning less than a hundred at a go and in the end you'll end up getting like half a million a click if not more every time you're playing now it's a very simple repetitive game it also once you upgrade it a little bit it'll also increase your earnings and stuff while you're not playing the game like you've got it offline which is decent especially if it's one of those games you want to play quite a bit but the core gameplay is is very much exactly the same as the mobile games out there now you can play this via clicking with your finger on the screen like touch screen or you can play it by using the thumbsticks to basically move around i started with the thumbsticks and then i went to the the click especially when you're trying to click on the screen it just makes everything so much easier now there's also a bonus wheel and you can spin that every five minutes and it will give you a random amount of bonus from 10% up to like 90%. So it's worth clicking on that as you're playing. Now the game itself, that's it in a nutshell. You'll play through one park, unlock all the animals once you hit a certain amount needed to unlock them you'll upgrade all of your, like your food vendors so you end up with like all six of them so they bring in more money and stuff like that you'll upgrade all your like entrance way your sort of enclosures everything you can and then it'll be like right do you want to move on to a new zoo and then you'll like i say it is exactly the same over and over it's just each time you move on to a new zoo it unlocks one extra square that you can use with another animal so like you can see on the screen now a couple of these are like grassy tree zones these will be then replaced with better animals basically and when you hit that number you can unlock that one once you've leveled that one up to a certain amount it then goes do you want to move on to the next zoo and so on and so forth there's not a lot to it it's very simple it's just one of those games that takes a ton of your time because you're always clicking it it's a good time waster graphically it looks like a mobile game the ui and that's fine and it's very simple and easy to use if you've ever played those mobile games this one is exactly the same as them except you don't have 7,000 ads that's the worst thing about these idle clicking games on mobile is there's hundreds and hundreds of ads every two seconds you click on something watch an ad you do something watch an ad to do that spin on the side you would have to watch an advert whereas this version you don't have any ads at all which is great now the downside is you do have to pay for this game it isn't a free to play game it's priced at 8 99 on the nintendo eShop. if you like these sort of games you're going to get a fair few hours worth of content out of it and it's just something you can spend five minutes playing or even an hour playing depending on how much you just want to sit and just sort of mong out having it just like on while you're clicking or while watching telly or something like that 
perfect. You put put Netflix on or summer, play this, tapping away to get your earnings up before you upgrade. It's one of those games that's perfect for that. It's also coming to PlayStation soon. I don't know a release date, but I have seen it listed as coming soon to PlayStation. So keep an eye out for that. It may come to other platforms as well. But overall, a fun little like idle clicker game. Doesn't sort of break the mold in any way. It's just a, a, a zoo themed one. And for that, I can't complain. I'd maybe just recommend waiting for it in a sale if it's one of those things you're not going to play a lot of. Whereas if you are, maybe pick it up at normal price. But that's that for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.